爱他个辣椒。Why are you sweet, 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 sweet as Princess Silka? Generous and kind, sharing my wisdom with you here, my intelligence too. Oh yes, absolutely. In the Aitakala Chowan outside, I am weird. Yes, and I'm witty. For what? I don't. I don't aim or claim to be wanting to belong to a crowd to which I am not vibrating. So if the crowd is not in my vibration and I live in a different vibration, and if that makes me weird, then I'm okay with this. <laughs> I don't expect anybody to be like I am at all, ever. Yeah, that fun. <laughs> you gotta study to be this funny man. Because man, the situation is a great man.、Uh, okay, one of the greatest jokes. What they have is a lot of insight. You can write like five essays about different social stratus, whatever that is, issues, situations, and problems, in order to make a joke. So the joke is inherent with all this knowledge. If you don't know it, then you don't understand the joke. I don't expect anybody to do that. As I flew to Panama, I was sitting on the seat to be. To be, to be, to be, to be, two, number two, and B. I think so. It could have been a B. It could have been two C, but I don't remember that number. There were only two seats on each side of the aisle. Panama is not that large, so the flights are not that large either. And shortly before we are arriving to Panama, the stewardess came to my seat and asked me and told me, the captain would like to know. Oh, the captain wishes to see if you would like to see the landing from the cockpit. Oh, I like what? Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Why me? I thought. Oh, because maybe I'm young and pretty. No, I was very easy access. That is the person. That is the situation with the seat to be, because it was an aisle seat. I would have picked a window seat usually, because I like to watch out of the window. But. Maybe I had the seat already booked when I took the when I picked up the flight ticket from from the agency. I do not. I don't not. I don't think I picked the seat. I would not have picked the seat. Remember? Okay, I remember that I I took the ticket and the flight had already a seat, but I don't know which of my trips was that. Because they used to ask you, which one would you like? How about this one? You like this one? Would you? You know, they ask you questions. And one day I was surprised. It's already done. Okay, that could have been very well. This flight. It was this flight. Okay, cool. No, I felt I felt like honored, blessed. So I walked to the cockpit. It was very small. I was sitting. So there's the pilot and the co-pilot, right? I was sitting right behind one of those. I don't know which one was a bitch though. Behind, and that was it. That was the old cockpit. I, I reckon on the other side there was another seat. I do not know if it was occupied or not. So it was impressive to see the landing, flying over back and forth. It was so cool. I know, man. Told me it was him. <laughs> he, he he booked that for me. How、oh, nice! Wow. No, I was not interested in Jamal. In the man, absolutely not. I was never interested in that Panamanian. By the way, he didn't really look Europe Panamanian. He looked more European in a way. In the field,
he didn't look so no he did he, he okay so i'm not saying that physically he looked so very different than the people from panama i don't have many, much recollection because i don't really look into their faces much i looked at their shirts because i noticed that was like different from mexico and the short hair um yes from the inside he looked more like someone who was traveled maybe well yeah he was right at least from panama to mexico maybe he expanded his business to other cards i have no clue i did not ask i have no idea how often he traveled but yes that's how he felt he felt more like someone who had more like knowledge of different places light as a feather that's who am i i just read the title i put up um bringing the field of panama yeah that's very well true so we went up to the west to overnight there he wanted to show me his country and he could uh, he did that in just a few days <laughs> such a small little thing uh i don't think they had much it did not look touristy it looked more like um a Jugendherberge, like a, like a hostel with wooden veranda and wooden building. Maybe he said that's all we got. I don't know if he said, I mean, he might have talked a lot without saying words. And maybe he said, no, what are you going to do? Because really nothing to do here. And I said, maybe not in words. I'm just happy you're standing here outside. Or maybe we were sitting in that little veranda with the wood and the breeze. And we just traveled through the trees and that's very nice so I'm, I'm just happy doing this maybe he bought a beer or so maybe we had a beer i don't know makes sense i have no recollection that we eat, ate anything we must have eaten right i have no memory about any food any place we ate but okay so what is definitely not happening or did not like fast food restaurants none or gas station, like none. It was more simple, much more simplistic. But in a way it was fresh. And it was never poor. There's so many things I could express to you, what I, I know. But you have to like know what I'm talking about, have to have seen it, which is hard to say. Like in Mexico, for example, there's like old places, simplistic places, or uh, things also made of wood falling apart, poor in a way. And I've not seen one of those in Panama at all. No, I don't know, the recording interrupted right now. Maybe I held the phone too close to my collar. So I do not recall right now if I already said this. I can go back and listen to it or just say it again. I can't go back. Okay, I'm gonna say it. What I was saying is that um, it is probably that he said, like, in the field, as we went to that west-north place. So that's all we got here. No, I think I should check my recording. If I, it would be boring to say it twice. I remember, like, a, a porch and where we overnighted. There must have been a room there, many rooms, I don't know. But it's very simple. More like a albergue, a hostel. Why not? A, a large porch, dark, and then he may have said in the field a lot of things like, so I don't know what to do, but what do you want to do? And I said like, you know, nothing, this is good, I like it. And then maybe he got a beer for us. So we had a beer out there, simple. And I have no recollection of any food involved. Like eating someplace, I mean, of course we ate, but I have no recollection. I feel a little bit bothered because somehow I feel I already have this recorded. Like a dinner or so, a restaurant, fine dining. I don't know if that exists in Panama. I kind of doubt it. <laughs> but okay, so what is not there is no fast food restaurants. And there is no gas station like uh, idiocies. 
none. And then I said, maybe I have been to the Tianguis, where he was buying his things. Maybe I was there, because I create visual images in my head, so it could have been an image in my head, it could have been that I was there. I do not know. <laughs> See, I have not much memory. I have a few selected memories, that's all, all I do have. But when I think and envision Panama, because of the V I explained to you earlier, yeah, on the tip left and right, there's like the spot we were knighted, and on the other hand side, the Tianguis, at the very far end of the island, right? East and west and the northern part. And you, two diagonal lines come together on the bottom, there is Panama City. Now we traveled also to the east, close to the city. There were not many trees. The trees were up north in the western part, maybe the entire part, actually. I think the trees go all over the north. So it's a very small, yeah, it's a peninsula, right? It's not an island, it's a peninsula. Because it has the countries left and right connecting to them. Yes, I know there is Colombia in South America, not Central. I heard in the real you cannot really access it via car because there's a large tropical forest. How great is that, right? Because no one wants to have the stinking Colombians there in Central America. <laughs> yes. And so when I think Panama, I kind of envision the entire country. Hit it. 